about a year and a half ago at a studio in Los Angeles here where I was working with the band Slipknot. And we were at one studio where we started the record, which was outfitted with an old Neve console and also had some older Neve stuff in the outboard racks. And midway through the project, we needed to move. Overall place for us to move to is a place that they had these racks that were loaded with BAE. Not only did I feel like I was, like it was, everything was doing what I expected it to do, but it almost was, it was certainly as good. And in some instances, maybe, Maybe it was a little bit better. Most recently, I've been working um, with Metallica on a new album. And what brings us together here is that they've got their own studio, which they've had for quite a while, but sort of been going through some, some changes and sort of updates and making it a little bit more of a... Uh, <laughs> upgrading their artillery over there. And one of the main things that I thought that they needed, the way that we had decided to work, was they needed a lot more mic pre's and a lot more high-end mic pre's. And the way we're, do, we're not doing it in a traditional way, we're just tracking all the drums and then we're done with the drums and now we're gonna do overdubs and we could use all these channels that were on the drums. You know, Monday and Tuesday we could be tracking songs, you know, three and four, and Wednesday, Thursday we could be doing guitar overdubs on songs one and two. We sort of have to have every step of the process of making a Metallica record set up ready to go and the whole idea was to leave it as set up as you can. The mics are on, we're getting this, it's sounding killer, it was, you know, it's always being recorded great. Most of the ten, the 1073s are handling um, the non-bust together, non-summed drum mics, like I you know the overheads are on the 1073s and we've got a couple of cymbal spot mics that are up on the 1073s and a couple of kick drum mics that are on the 1073s as well. The 28s are a little bit more, I think we have a secondary pair of overheads, a high set of overheads on those. Then I've got, I think we've got a couple guitars, two of them are on guitars, like on the clean guitar sound, a couple of them are on bass. So it's sort of a varied stuff. And then the, the other ones are on the, on the vocal. The idea here is to make it feel a little bit more Spontaneous, maybe is a good word. The mics are on. We're getting this. It's sounding killer. It was, you know, it's always being recorded great.